Hey guys, as some of you have requested, let's take a look at uh, CPU utilization during games. As you know, a Xeon tends to have higher, more clocks and lower clock speed. And then let's see if this actually would impact your performance, if having low clock speed uh, really matters. Uh, in this test, uh, I'll run through several benchmarks uh, running OBS in the background. OBS, uh, as I've seen uh, in my testing, OBS is utilizing the whole CPU and while recording it uh, uses about 15 to 20 percent of CPU of your CPU usage on, all, uh, on pretty much all cores. So well, the results you see here will not be the actual gaming results you would have but if you were streaming. But if you were streaming the utilization would still be lower since you would probably not be in, uh, encoding at 8 megabits. I use 8 megabits, usually when you stream you use uh, uh, 3 megabits. So here the CPU had to work uh, harder. But yeah, so into the benchmarks and let's see what, it is, what we get out of it.
conclusion time. So, uh, looking, uh, looking at Metro Last Light, all cores utilized and uh, you see it, run, it runs really well. But th uh, this is a game that uses PhysX, which uh, since I don't have an NVIDIA GPU, it processes all on the CPU, which probably is the reason why it utilizes all the cores. Uh, in other games, it's, uh, it will not be the case there as well. But uh, later on, let's take a look at the Tomb Raider. The, for some reason, the afterburner uh, overlay did not work. I don't know why. I recorded it several times. I saw it on the screen, it didn't pop up in the recording. I have no idea why, sorry. But uh, from the task manager window, you can already see that it was fairly even, even though it's not very dem uh, it was not very demanding on the CPU since uh, most of the physics uh, were processed on the GPU itself. Next up, Shadow of Mordor. The utilization was pretty low, but it was uh, on about half the cores. Now, uh, now we're starting to see some games uh, utilize uh, cores better than others. Shadow of Mordor seemed to be utilizing every second core, except then sometimes skipping it and then going to the last core. I don't know why, but uh, still, you, sh uh, you should always keep in mind that CPU utilization from uh, uh, <laughs> OBS Studio was around 15 to 20%, so you might at least uh, retract 15% from every result you see on the screen, uh, you have seen on the screen. On GTA, the utilization was uh, fairly low, but it uh, seems to be utilizing all cores in gameplay while uh, in the menus it utilizes less of the course. Uh, but for some reason you might have seen some GPU usage dips. I cannot really tell wh uh, where they come from because CPU usage uh, on, all, on different cores was below 100%, so I don't think it was a bottleneck from the CPU. Probably the hard drive because I'm using an old hard drive that needs to be replaced but I didn't have time to replace it yet. That's why it might be coming from. Next up, uh, Metal Gear Solid. I uh, put this one in just as another AAA game, which is a console port. The CPU utilization was about half, which is impressive for, uh, for a game like this. It was uh, fairly low and it's not a very demanding game anyway, so I put it in for just for giggles, so to say. StarCraft, the worst defender of all. You see the engine is so old, just utilizing one CPU packed at 100% and all the other tw uh, 23 threads sitting pretty much idle. In the last test, I bumped up the bitrate of the video from 8 megabits to 16 megabits. I, uh, I had the assumption that if you have a higher uh, bitrate, your, your CPU utilization would be higher. And I was uh, right because uh, it went from going 15 to 20 to 20 to 30 percent utilization throughout. That's why the utilization in the last test was close to 80 to, uh, 80 to 90 percent on the CPU because the game is fairly taxing on the CPU plus I had up to 30 percent uh, CPU utilization from OBS itself. Meaning this, uh, this is what you're gonna see. Now still gaming on a low clock speed Xeon it is possible, and I have not experienced any bottlenecking here. For me, the bottleneck was the GPU, and it's an R9390 at 1080p still. So you're probably not going to be experiencing any bottlenecks by low clock speed on Xeon. But keep in mind, some games will be as bad as StarCraft at utilizing your CPU, but you'll probably still be fine. Coming to the point from my last video, that you probably don't need the Xeon uh, if you're gaming. I still hold true to that. You don't really need a Xeon when gaming. But if you're streaming, you, you saw the utilization by OBS. Uh, it was on all cores. I don't know how well it would be, how much it, the utilization would be going up if you're only utilizing, uh, if you only have four cores in your machine. So when streaming or recording a gameplay, you might be better off with uh, more cores. So, this is Arzni, signing out. See you in the next one.